I'm going to show you how to make a paracord lanyard using three common knots that will help you keep your gear together. We're going to take a length of paracord, about 36 inches, and we're going to take a small carabiner or a snap. Before you choose any snap though, make sure that it's not going to impact your compass. Here's how you tell. Take the snap and put it next to the magnetic part of your compass. The needle shouldn't be affected by it. This is a great project for practicing your knots. So for this instance, we're going to use a bowline, a taut line hitch that slides, and a stopper knot. Here's how to tie them. Just so we're on the same page, we're going to call the short end, right here, the tag end. We're going to call the longer piece of cord the main line. On the main line, make a loop like that. Pick up this loop and pin it like that. Take the tag end, put it through the loop, then go around the main line and bring the tag end up through the middle again, like that. This is what you'll end up with. A bowline knot won't slide, so you can decide how long you want this to be. This is where you will put in your carabiner. About halfway up the main line, you're going to need a stopper knot. We're going to put it right here. There are many stopper knots you can use. This is one we're going to use. We're going to make another loop and then just pull the tag in through it several times. Essentially, we're making an overhand knot that's bulky. This is what it's going to look like. When it comes together then, we have this big stopper knot. And this becomes very important. Do not make this lanyard without a very functional stopper knot. Between these two knots, we're going to tie a taut line hitch. We're going to start by putting this over the top and then taking two wraps around the main line. So it looks like that. Now we're going to take the tag end and go around like this. Over the top, underneath the main line, and then through the side. It'll end up looking like that. Now what we need to do is tighten it up. So we'll pull it tight. And there you have it. This line will slide up and down on your main line. If you get in the habit of putting the lanyard around your neck and stretching it out when you use your compass, you'll never have to worry about dropping, losing, or possibly breaking it. Now you can clip anything onto your lanyard, and I'd recommend that every time you use your survival tools, especially if you're in deep snow. Always make sure that whatever you've got on your lanyard is not going to affect your compass needle. Take a look at your gear and see if there's ways you can attach it to your lanyard. A pop top works great, a paper clip you can use on your chapstick, or any number of things. This is survivalcommonsense.com hoping you get outside and hang on to your gear. Go make a lanyard. Thanks for watching.